All right, is everyone ready for some Unified Minds? Uh, that's right. When Unified Minds came out, I kind of went all in. I bought uh, quite a few things, and obviously I waited a couple months. So, um, in front of us we've got the Elite Trainer Box, we've got both uh, promo triple packs, and we've got a pre-release kit. So, I think we're going to go with the pre-release kit first, then the, is, then the Elite Trainer Box. Um, yeah, I, I, I did want to kind of maybe... Um, you know, pass it out a little bit so that we didn't just do Unified Minds all at once. But I thought, actually, you know, it, it's kind of hype to um, get to know the set and see if we can pull anything really good. So this elite, this uh, pre-release kit, I don't know if it's worth a lot. It, it might be now. Um, I didn't actually go to the pre-release, but I went the day after and they had one left over or two, I think. But... Um, so if you've not seen these before, just a quick thing, they um, they got 23 card evolution pack, you get 4 obviously unified mind booster packs, um, oh sorry, and 1 of 4 um, promo cards, now these promo cards are really cool because they have the stamp on, anyway, that's the box, uh, that's part of the reason I want it as well, the box just looks really cool, so, if I open, oh wait, no, hang on, does it? Wait, sorry, no, I remember now. You you slide this out, right. Is everyone ready? I don't know what the promo cards are. I mean, if there's a Mewtwo one, I'd really like that, obviously. Um, oh, hey, that's cool. That's a, that's a sleeve. Wait, no, oh, wait, no, that's a poster, sorry. Yo, that's cool. Okay, definitely be keeping on to that. Ah, and that's the building tips, so basically... Um, so yeah, with pre-releases, I've never been to one, I, I intend to go, um, one day. But yeah, you kind of just, you get four packs and you try and build a deck around it or whatever. So these are the packs, you've got Mewtwo and Mew, we've got, uh, Darkrai and Umbreon, yeah, sorry. Uh, we have Deoxys and Espeon, and we have Giratina and Garchomp, very nice. Let's put those packs there for a second. And I believe our promo card is on the front here. It is... Uh, ter oh, yo! Terrakion! Okay. I quite like Terrakion. He's my favourite of the three sword trio things. I see, and there we are. That is, like, the really cool stamp. So I don't know um, what the other three promos were, as I said. I'm not going to bother opening this, because um, I want to keep this in pretty good condition. Uh, and I th actually no, you know what? I I will open this. I'll be right back. E there we are. I want to open it slightly delicately so I can put the cards back in later. Uh, so there is a code card I'm going to pull out to the side there. So yeah, that's the promo. Very nice. Uh, quite happy with that. I always love the stamp things. Uh, right, and I'll quickly go through here. So I think it's mostly like useful trainers, uh, which we'll focus on if we pull them in packs. Uh, no, okay, so there's there's water, so I guess maybe, so there's a normal and some water, ah, there we are, and maybe um, uh, some fighting as well, so I guess, does everyone get water and fighting as a kind of side deck thing, so basically these are staples, um, and then obviously you'd open those packs, and you'd get other things to just add to that deck, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, and I think they, they give you basically energies at the at the event. Uh, right, put the code card to the side. Let's close that for a second and put it back in its box as a background. Uh, right, which pack shall we open first? Go with this. Uh, we'll, we'll just go in this order. It doesn't matter what packs you open. I'm going to try and keep some of these in good condition because I like to keep one of each pack just for like, you know, a Kind of collection you can oh okay this isn't the best quality pack but uh okay sorry hang on there we go also i've changed the angle a little bit hopefully this works uh this works out right hey. so yeah i've not opened any unified minds so this is going to be new for me and for you four to the front uh fire energy i reckon no it is psychic all right then. Ooh. Okay, we have a, a, a Mesprit is uncommon. That's an interesting choice. We've got a Sableye. There's a Lapras. Ah, oh, that's very cute, actually. 
Uh, hey, young goose, just being himself. Uh, oh, Cragnall in the kind of like void, simplistic background thing, kind of like hey, that is weird. Litwick hanging out with other Litwick, hanging out with a candle. Oh, all right then. How how do they feel about that? I wonder. They're like, wait, are we just living candles, or are these our friends and they're just dead? Uh, we've got a drillbur. We've got a slack off holding on to a berry. I don't know what berry that is. I don't know my berries too well, admittedly. Uh, we have a reverse tapu coco. Very nice. Okay. And the rare is a evil towel. Um, oh, wait, no, it is a hollow. Ooh. That's very hard to see, but that is a hollow. Very understated there. The, like, fiery bits are hollow. Okay. I was going to say, actually, because uh, it's quite a surprise that an evil towel card wasn't hollow, basically. Uh, let's put the poster over there for a second. Those cards there. And let's crack open this Mewtwo and Mew pack. Now, I would, obviously, uh, as would everyone, I'm sure, love to pull the Mewtwo and Mew uh, team-up card. But we'll see. That is quite a rare one, obviously. Um, I don't actually have many team-up cards, I don't think, so... And any would do, to be honest. Metal energy. Nope. Okay, then. Let's begin with Tortuga. Hey, there we are. Uh, we've got a dragon... Ah! Dragon type. Was this the last set that featured dragons? Oh, it's Sun and Sword and Shield. I can't remember. Anyway, we've got a giant hearth. Hearth? Hearth? A fungus. Hey, ooh, wow. That's a cool-looking Honage card, actually. We've got a very lonely-looking Magnemite. A Fletchling in sort of on, on, a, on a tree branch. Is that a Sakura tree? I can't quite tell. Um, we have an Onyx. Wow, yo. That's a pretty cool-looking Onyx card, actually. Uh, hey, our reverse is a Scrafty. And our rare is a Driftblim. Not been a crazy amount of pulls so far, but uh, there's still two packs left, so who knows. Uh, we have a Darkrai and Umbreon pack next. What will this hold? Also, the fact that we've got uh, six cards there and eight in the Elite Trainer box. That is 14 more packs, 16 packs. we got 16 packs. I think that's a decent chance of getting a GX, to be honest. I'm not expecting any, like, secret rares or anything, um, but you never know. I have had ridiculously good pulls in the past from Elite Trainer Boxes and stuff. Right, uh, Electric Energy. Nope, Fairy. All right, then. Let's begin with... Ooh, Relic... Yo, Relicanth. Okay. Interesting choice for the set. I, I don't remember seeing a Relicanth card for a while. We've got a uh, LGM. We, hey, Pukyumuki, oh, Pukyumuki is a water, I don't know why, I always thought of that as a fighting, because it'd be ground, wait, is Pukyumuki water? I don't think I ever had one, actually. We've got a Drillbo, there's a Dwebble, ah, oh, very, oh, wait, Dwebble looking at ho -Oh. okay, I wonder if the ho -Oh card has anything with Dwebble on, then, if there's a ho -Oh card, I presume there is, we've, that's it. <laughs> That's a very shocked-looking Pidov. Are you okay, Pidov? We've got a Munna. Very cute. A Pikachu. Very nice. Uh, oh, he's just in a room? Yeah, like in a kitchen. No, a bedroom. Is it? I can't quite tell. The perspective's a bit wonky, which is interesting. We've got a B-Barrel. Uh, reverse. Very nice. That is... That, that's, that's the best pull I'm going to have, I think. Hey, and our rare is a Salazzle Hollow. No, it's not hollow. Okay, that, that's fucking weird then. So the evil towel didn't look hollow and was hollow, and this looks a bit hollow, but wasn't hollow. Oh, wait, is it? No, I can confirm that is not hollow. It just, it looks like, you know the really subtle, like, slightly bloomy hollow you get in some of the sets? It just looked like that, and the light was shining in a weird way. Uh, right, let's open the last pack of this pre-release set then. Hasn't been the best luck, admittedly. But, you know, hey, it's uh, it's about the journey and not the pulls. Who, who am I kidding? It is about both. Um, but, you know, hey, we've pulled one EX so far, and that was a Mega, which is kind of nice. Uh, so, 
four to the front. Let's, let's begin with the darkness energy. Hey, there we are. We've got Blue's Tactics. Nice to see Blue back in the card game. We've got a lamp end doing the stand up routine or something. Tell you what, the difficulty with candles is. Uh, right, we've got a Mushana. Very, oh, very like fifth gen heavy. Uh, yo, it's that. Again, wait, did I open a Unified Minds before then? Because this is a really cool. This this magma artwork, I swear we opened before, didn't we? Somewhere? Where are you open? I can't remember. Anyway, we've got a Tynamo, a Cosmog, a Salandit, very nice to go with the Salazzle that we thought was hollow, that I thought was hollow, we didn't. Sorry, I keep saying we a lot and it's I'm I'm kind of I'm not with anyone here. Um Gibble in the kind of clay doll thing. Uh, not not to be confused with clay doll, the clay doll. Uh, hey, we got Licky Tongue. Yeah, I remember this artwork as well because his tongue kind of spiralled. Yo, yo, okay, hello. <laughs> um, right, there we are. Cool. We, th I think this is my first um, team up card that isn't like a promo or something. Slowpoke and Psyduck. I didn't even realise this was a this is a team up card. That's so cool. Yeah, I really like that. That's like wholesome. Also, I love Slowpoke. Psyduck is also kind of cute and stuff. But yeah, yo. Okay then. That that was that was worth it. That that pre-release box was worth it just for this. That's so cute. Um, you know, I, I know Slowpoke and Psyduck might not be everyone's favourite Pokemon, but we did pull. That's that's two EX slash GX cards now which ain't bad. Right, I'm going to put these things to the side and then we'll do the triple packs, BRB. Alright, I'm back. Uh, I, sorry, I realised the Elite Trainer box is uh, blocking off Reshiram and Charizard there, so I've put them in the front. Right, so we've got two triple packs. Uh, these both have promos, I believe they're promos anyway. Yep, okay, good. Because um, we did go through a period where the promo cards weren't promo cards, they were just alternate hollows. Anyway, so we have uh, one with Oh, sorry about that, I uh, I had to sneeze. Um, anyway, we've got one pack with Stack Attacker and uh, one with Vicavolt. Neither of them are particularly my favourites from Sun and Moon, to be honest, but hey. Anyway, uh, this is the back of the Unified Minds uh, pack thing, if anyone wants to give that a read. Alright, and um, yeah, as usual, it comes with a promo card, three packs, and a coin. I can't quite tell what the coin is, because the light keeps shining on it, but... We'll have a look at that in a second. Uh, ooh, okay, these are not the easiest things to open, to be honest. Also, another thing I've realised, uh, and we'll cover this later because I have two Hidden Fates tins that we'll be opening, um, but tins in America are different shaped to the ones over here, and it's very confusing. Uh, and I don't fully know why, but hey, if anyone knows, uh, let me know in the comments. Right. Let's pull these three packs out. I have manhandled this poorly. Right, let's put those to the side. Let's grab this promo card gently. Very nice. There's also the promo card behind it. That is the Stack Attacker uh, Ultra Beast card. Very nice. It's hollow, obviously. And that is the promo number. 209, Jesus Christ, they've done a lot of promos for Sun and Moon then, okay. And of course, the coin, which is the most important bit. Uh, no, not really, I'm being facetious, I have way too many coins as it is. Um, ooh, oh, yo, hang on, it's a Rowlet coin. <laughs> okay, I ain't complaining there, that is that is adorable, I love me some Rowlet. That is, uh... also what I kind of like is that it is... Um... What's the word? It's it, it's equal on both ends. I'll put it at the bottom there. Um, but yeah, I appreciate coins that do that because like it, they they look slightly more uniform. Let's put the promo card there. And so we've got a Mewtwo and Mew. We've got a Giratina and Garchomp and Deoxys and Espeon. Let's do it in this order because I want to keep Mewtwo and Mew till last. Can we pull that Mewtwo and Mew GX card? I doubt it, I'd be thoroughly surprised if we could, but hey, who knows. Ooh, this opened really well, actually. Okay then, there's hope. That's what I look for in a pack, the fact it can open very well. Um, right, let's put four to the front. Electric energy, nope. Okay then. 
let's begin with a Dedene. Oh, that, that's a really thin looking Dedene, actually. That's bizarre. Uh, we have Luminion. Very, very nice. Um, another Pokemon I forgot existed. Gab... Gab... Oh, wait, no, sorry. I was going to say, Gab are also doing the same standard routine as um, Rampent there, but no, he's actually in the in the mouth of the cave. <clears throat> We've got a Slack Off, very cute. A, oh, a Slander in like a weird art style. Interesting, cool. Hey, Bone Sweet, that's cool. I do love the Tarina line there. It's one of my favourite in Sun and Moon, I think. We've got a Slandit, very cute, kind of. Um, oh, a Scraggy. That, that's a man that, that's giving me my hero academia vibes i don't know why but uh oh our reverse is Bla Bla blaine's quiz show hey do you remember that from from the anime when blaine had like quiz no wait no it wasn't quizzes didn't he like poetry i can't remember and our rare is a zygarde doggy which i believe we've pulled before yeah I definitely pulled the unified minds pack before but i can't for the life of me remember where that was uh, hang on, my code card fell, sorry. Right, put that to the side. Okay, off to a, off to a not great start, because we got a double rare. But hey, you know, when, uh, when I get to playing the physical guard game with people, I'll have a spare Zygarde that I can chuck in a deck. Because I think it's a basic Pokemon, isn't it? Unless you need, like, 0% Zygarde or whatever it's called. You know, like the cell that was in... Uh, in the anime, which I really enjoyed the anime actually. Let's put four to the front. Fire energy. No, steel. Okay then. Right, let's begin with a Sableye. Followed by a Lapras. There we are, yeah, with with its rainbow and stuff. Relicanth again, very nice. Magnemite. We've got the Fletchling and the Cherry Blossom Tree. That really cool looking Onyx. Ooh, Fletchinder. Hey, it's been a while since I've thought of Talonflame. Uh, we've got a Snover. Very nice. Uh, our reverse is a Drudigan. Very... I was going to say very nice, but I'd, I'd not, I'm not a big fan of that art, to be honest. It looks just, like, weird. And our rare is a Executor. That is actually kind of weird, because I'm so used to a Alolan Executor now, that... Normal Executor doesn't look right? That's, that's so strange. Yeah, well, hey, there we are. Cool. So, you know, another not phenomenal pack, but nonetheless, it was, it was actually mildly nostalgic to see a regular Executor. Executor. Executor? An executor is the head of an estate or something, isn't it? I think. Right, code card to the side for to the front, uh, electric energy, water. Okay then, let's begin with, ooh, type null. Yo, I, do you know, I don't think I've ever seen a type null card. That's, that looks very plain. Like, I, I don't know where it is. I think it's like the white border or something, but like normal Pokemon in this set looks super, super like clean, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's the white border. I hadn't noticed that. Um, we have Tsini, very nice. Ooh, can we pull it Tsarina? That would be nice. Azalf. Meditite, kind of stretching for his thing. Hey, Noibat. Very cute, Noibat. There's a sea... <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Sea Waddle. Swaddling leaves. Swad yeah, swaddling leaves. Very nice ability. I'm not going to bother reading what it does now. It looks cute. We have Scorapy. Oh, Wimpod going into the sea. Uh, I used a Wimpod in Sword. It was all right. Um, we have a Haxorus. Very nice. So that is a rare. That is reverse holo rare. And our rare is a Camerupt. Okay, so this hasn't been like a crazy triple pack, but I'm, s I'm pretty certain I don't have many of these cards. So that's, that's a bonus, I suppose. Um, right, let's, sorry, put my code cards to the side here, which you can't see because it's off camera. Let's crack into this one. Maybe the Vicavolt promo will bring us more luck than the Stack Attacker? Stack Attacker? I can't remember how to pronounce it now. Let's go from this side first. Maybe this will make it, hey, this makes it a lot easier. Although, admittedly, 
a lot easier in comparison to the other one, which was very difficult, so... Okay, sorry about this, lads. And glasses, and whatever. Uh, we have, ooh, we have a Darkrai pack, a Giratina pack, and a Mewtwo and Mew pack. Let's pop out the promo. There we go. So, this is the uh, Vicavolt card. Pretty cool. I do like Vicavolt, but it's, it's weird how much he's pushed in the card game. Stealthy body. And he is number 208. So, this comes just before Stack Attack, I believe. Let's put the coin there. And let's pop out the second Rowlet coin. Um, these are delightful. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy. Actually, I don't think it is symmetrical, and that was the word I was thinking of. Hey, um, wait, is it symmetrical? I can't tell. He looks like he's looking slightly to his right, doesn't it? Maybe, I think, like his profile, because he's got a little more fat there than by his eye there. Anyway, either, either way, it's a very nice looking coin. So once again, we're going to do Mewtwo at the back. Uh, Garchomp first, then the Darkrai one, I think. Oh, well. Giratina, Garchomp, they're both there. They're both just as valid as each other. Controversial opinion, I've never been massive on Garchomp. I don't know, I, I think like part of the fact is because he was so like meta and used everywhere. And Cynthia's Garchomp, that just gave me nightmares. Um, let's go with Psychic Energy. No, Fighting Energy. All right there. Oh, we got a Bug Catcher. Nice. Hey, there we are. Um, there is a Mesprit, very cute, a Kamala, I forgot about Kamala, that is another Pokemon from Sun and Moon that, yeah, just passed up, Riolu, wow, Riolu, Riolu also doing a very My Hero Academia pose there, um, we've got a Purloin sneaking through a lab again, there's the Joltik talking, wait, is he talking to another Joltik, or is that another Joltik's butt? I... I, I'm, I'm not going to question. Hey, Dratini, can we pull a Dragonite? There we are. I, I like to have things in mind that I'd like to pull. It, it makes it slightly more investment heavy. As in, you can get invested in it. Um, we've got a Salazzle and a Rare. Hey, is a Beehive M. Now, controversial opinion, Beehive M and LGM are one of my favourite Pokemons. Because I like me aliens. Right, let's go with... This Darkrai and um, Umbreon. I wanted to say Espeon, but I, I knew it wasn't. Uh, these packs have been opening really well, actually, so... I don't know what goes on, really, but... Some packs just aren't as easy, I suppose. Um, electric Energy. No, Dark Energy. I keep forgetting Dark is an energy. Uh, right, Daydane, Thin Boy again. Um, oh, Lurantis. Oh, I forgot about Lurantis as well. We have a giant bomb, which is also a, a video game podcast thing, isn't it? Or something? I can't remember. Uh, we got a Drifloon looking happy up into the sky. A Dupida or Dupida? Dupida. Cragonal again. We've got Marini. Very nice. Hey, Fomantis to go with a Lurantis. Our reverse is a Lipard or Leapard. I go with Lipard. And our rare is a Lucario. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, it's the one with the Giratina. Okay, that's a double as well, but hey, I don't mind. I like me some Lucario. It uh, takes me back to the time of Furious Fists. That was a XY set, wasn't it? I never had crazy luck with Furious Fists, but um, I, li I like... I like the concept of sets that like focus on one or two elements, if that makes sense. I'm going to go with Dark Energy again. No. So, wow, we've been pulling a lot of steel. I wonder if they um, give you slightly less common energy. Although, no, that doesn't make sense, because Lee Trainer Boxes come with all the energies, don't they? Uh, we've got an Azelf. I, I'm sure I've got the Lake Trio now um, from this set. We've got Blues Tactics. Fracture. Okay. Tynamo. Uh, Cosmog. A Salandit. A Gibble, very nice. Sawaddle, floating on that little 
thing again. Eve got a reverse hon edge. And can we finish these triple backs on a ha uh, yo? Yes we <laughs> Yo, okay then, not bad. Dragonite GX. I did mention, didn't I, that we I I, I wanted a Dragonite. I, I I will take that. Um I know it's not like a, a secret rare or anything, but that yo also kind of nice because this is one of the last dragon energies uh gx's probably that they ever made um i still can't remember which set dragon energy went out on but that yo that's pretty good honestly we've had some pretty good pulls so far um i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a bit of background knowledge and i'm actually filming this a day later than my other things so um there's, I, I can only open so many Pokemon cards without losing some motivation. Anyway, I'm going to clear up everything here, uh, apart from the figure, maybe the coins, and we'll break in to this Elite Trainer Box in just a second. Okay, everything's organised and in the back there, so let's crack into this Unified Minds Elite Trainer Box. Uh, it's been very Unified Minds heavy, obviously, but uh, I don't know, we've, we've had some pretty good pulls so far. Two GXs. Which, you know, hasn't hasn't been the worst uh, luck. And a, a couple hollows, I think. It hasn't been, like, crazy good. But um, if, if, if you've watched this far, well done. And also, just for clarity, um, I do have some Hidden Fate stuff, which is that set where every card is at least a hollow. Um, I'm keeping that till the end, because I want it to end on a like really big high, as it were. So, um, let's slide... Oh, yo, I just remembered! This comes with artwork, doesn't it? Right, hang on. Let's do that first, actually. Um, right, I'm going to slowly undo this glue, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and it's undone. So, um, it doesn't fit on camera perfectly, but hey, it's not bad. So yeah, we've got the four pack art here, uh, in a slightly extended format, which is nice. I think, as well, if you're a really big fan of any of these pieces of artwork, I'm pretty sure the official Pokemon website, um, you can download these as wallpapers, because I, I really want to get that one, actually. That is really nice. Definitely going to be displaying that on a wall somewhere. Um, also, when my, when my new house is all set up and arranged, I might do a small house tour. Um, maybe? I don't know. So this is a player's guide. Oh, wow. Yo, <laughs> just looked at the background there. That's a uh, very eye-watering eye display thing there. I'm going to quickly flip through it, but I don't want to spoil for myself what's in here. What I quite like is they'll, obviously, they'll give, oh man, oh, the classic art. Well, it's the Sugimori artwork from, like, is that Fire Red Leaf Green era or slightly more modern? I can't remember, but that artwork is fantastic. There's also basically the Smash Bros. Amiibo of Mewtwo that I have. Um, but yeah, anyway, I like these guides because they do kind of give outlines to why some of these cards work well or how you can make them work well, which is quite nice. Um, they introduce any like new concepts with the cards, and then these are the guides, but I, I don't want to check. I don't want to see the um, super rares or the secret rares or whatever. Um, I know some people prefer to kind of know what they want out of a set. I don't really. Um, so this is the box. This, uh, yo, I, I really like Mewtwo. I I know it's a bit of a generic choice, but I don't know, he's always been one of my favourites. Ooh, yo! Yo, inside is even like... So they've started doing this, which is nice, which is like separating parts of these things. So like, for example... Oh! Yo! These dice are crazy. That's really nice. So that's the... Uh, Wait, no, that's not the set symbol. Hang on. Um, let me try and rotate this. There you are, that's the set symbol. Yo, it's uh, hot pink and black kind of go well together. Um, damn, that's really cool, actually. So you get the counter, the uh, the burn and the poison, and that's a GX counter, which is pretty cool. I think that's all that's in there. Um, and then on this side... Oh, I think I have to actually lift this up. Okay. Man, it's a shame to get rid of this, but like, you, you you can't make this thing work if you have this in here. Uh, could use that as a backdrop. Oh, yo, I could use that as a backdrop for like figures or something, actually, yeah. There we are, cool. Uh, talking to myself here, I know. So there's a code card which I'm going to put to the side. 
and then you've got some separators which are quite nice you get for them uh, oh nice okay I, I thought I said the set name on no okay you just get a slightly different artwork with or without the background nice okay cool uh, so you get the separators very useful all these are energies you get five of each I'm not gonna crack them open because you guys know what that is and the uh, sleeves another thing I definitely got this for because I, I like I love this piece of artwork it's really cool it, it's so weird and of course the reason everyone buys elite trainer boxes apart from all that is we get eight packs of unified minds so I'm gonna kind of saw this into a more arranged uh, thing also just to show you guys that is what the box looks like these are nice to have to just kind of like you know stack up or whatever because they stack on top of each other and obviously it keeps cards in right and organize everything I'll be right back all right I'm back and uh, happy to report that we have two of each pack design which is pretty cool because not every trainer and uh, elite trainer box has done that actually there's been a few where you get three of one and one of the other or whatever but yeah anyway let's crack into the packs because uh, we've opened enough unified minds to uh, to not oh hang on I pulled bloody hell I pulled a card away there with the Ah, sorry with the code card let's do four to the front and start with fire energy no okay hey there we are we do however have a weakness guard energy very nice obviously guards against weaknesses I presume we have a stadium nav very nice a gabite uh, yeah in front of the cave again fletchling onyx fletchinder oh will we get a talon flame Snova. Oh, yo. Hello. No, uh, I thought that was reverse. It's not. Uh, we've got a Mook. Yo, that's a really cool Mookro card. That's super cool. Okay. Um, oh, we've got a reverse Hoot Hoot. Another, another Pokemon we've not pulled yet, despite the fact we've opened like 12 packs. And, oh, a rare is... Hey, it's a Talonflame. Oh, shit, son. Okay, that. Yo. <laughs> Okay, I, I I kind of called it. That is not bad, right? That was a that was a good start. I mean, not like a super crazy pull because it is just a rare. But I don't think I don't think I've pulled a talent flame yet, so that's nice anyway. Uh, ee, there we are. Yeah, these are opening a lot nicer. I I don't know what it is. I guess maybe these are like first prints or ever. Also, something I was thinking of the other day, right? We don't have first editions in Pokemon anymore, I presume, do we? Because that was more of a Wizards of the Course thing. We have a Fighting Energy. Well, let's begin with Grimsley. I, uh, I don't fully remember Grimsley. He's a Dark type, obviously, presumably. I don't. Is he from Sun and Moon? Man, I don't remember Sun and Moon totally well. Puku Muku. Hey, Archon! Wow, okay, it's been a while since I've seen Archon. We've got a Bone Sweet again. Ooh, can we pull a Sarina? There, I've been calling the rare so far. Sarina, please. Solandit. Uh, Riolu. No, that's less. Uh, that is less my Hero Academia. Oh, God, hang on, the battery's going really. F right, I have to open, finish this pack and then go charge. Hang on. Uh, so we got Steelix, very nice, cool, and our rare is a Garchomp Hollow. Yo, Garchomp Hollow, okay, that's very cool. Right, I'm going to have to go and plug my um, my camera in for a second, so I'll be right back and we'll do the next pack. All right, I'm back, everything's plugged in, and it's not as hectic. So, let's jump back in with this Giratina and Garchomp pack. All right, um, so pulled a hollow last pack, not too bad. We've got one red, one hollow. So can we keep up this momentum? If I get one rare for every one hollow, wait, no, one hollow for every rare. I, uh, you know what I mean? Right, well, let's begin. Um, ooh, steel energy. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of steel energies, actually. Uh, right, let's, ooh, year ringing bell or ear ringing bell. I say it year. But I shouldn't. Uh, Blaine's Quiz Show. Ah, this, we got a reverse of that, I believe. Oranguru, very nice. Yo, Pasimian is one of my favourites, actually, as well. Drilba, we've got a Slackoth with a berry again. Yeah, oh, this, so there's two Slackoths in this set then, because there's one without the berry as well, isn't there? We've got Majestic Honage. Can we get a Dewblade? 
Magnemite. Oh, yo, Magneton in the reverse. Very nice. Oh, uh, yeah, I really like the um, reverse effect there. I haven't checked for the other elements, though, but that, that works really well. Uh, oh, yo, ho, ho, ho. yo, okay, Raichu and Lolan Raichu e GX. Yo, nice. Also, yeah, it, it, it's... I've, I've never seen them next to each other before, but man, Alolan Raichu looks fucking weird, but also really cute. Yo, that's... Okay, man, this set has been pretty good to us so far. There's three GXs now in, like, what, uh, 15, 16 packs? Damn! Okay, and just to check... Okay, so it's a super rare, I believe, which is, like, um... It's within the range, so it's not past 236. But it is the, like, super rare thing, I think. Um, or, like, te technically a full... Oh, yeah, wait, there's a bit of a texture to it, actually. Yeah, so this is, like, known as the super rare full art or whatever. Yo, okay, then. That... Okay, wow. This has been... Uh, this, has been this has been a pretty good Elite Trainer box so far, actually. Um, and we're not even halfway through yet. So, let's crack into this one. Very nice. Um, yeah, and all the packs have stayed intact as well, which I'm sure is what everyone is concerned about watching this. Uh, I'm going to say fire energy for this one. Let's begin. No, fairy. Oh, yeah. Wait, fairy's still in, though, isn't it? Dragon isn't, but fairy is. Uh, oh, we have a Pokemaniac. Um, oh, right. <laughs> Stress a slowpoke. That, that took me a second, which is appropriate, I suppose. Um... Nice. Lapras. Uh, ooh! Karate. Ah, oh, Karate Belt. I don't know why. I thought that was like the symbol of one of the teams, like Magma, but upside down. I don't know. We've got a Bidoof to go to that, with that Bibarrel. Got a Scorpy in front of an Explosion. Okay, cool. Wimpod returning to the sea. Uh, we've got a Noibat. Ooh, Sneasel. I don't think we've seen that yet. Very nice. Reverse is Dark City. That is that is pretty cool, actually. That's quite nice. And the rare is Camerupt again. Oh, okay. Well, hey, you know, after after that last pull, I'm actually pretty happy with whatever we get now, regardless. Um, another GX would be phenomenal. I mean, you know, Mewtwo, Mewtwo and Mew GX maybe, Mister Arceus or Mrs. Ar well, actually, Arceus doesn't have a gender, so it's a bit of a moot. A uh, bit of a moot statement there, but okay. Let's put that to the side, four to the front. Let's go for uh, fire energy, as I said before. No, water energy. Okay, then. We've got a Pukumuku. He's been showing up a lot. An Archer. Oh, Pukumuku is uh, uncommon, I just realised. Hey, Yan Mega. Pretty cool. Ooh, yo. A hey, Cuborn. That's, that's really cool, actually. It's a re... Why I I still don't understand. Sometimes you do get common cards like this, like this Cubon, that will show up like once, Yanma. Um out of like thirty or forty packs is so weird. We got a young goose. A Cryagonal. A Litwick hanging out with his candle friends again. Oh, we've got Misty's Favour. Oh wow, that is quite some artwork there. Uh, yeah, we've got the little, like, feed of the Pokeball icons. And our rare is a Medicham. Okay, f f fair enough. Um, one Hollow so far, and one GX out of five packs. That's pretty good rates, actually, I believe. Uh, wouldn't mind another Hollow, maybe just to finish this box, to make it really, uh, really lit, as the kids say. Um, do they even say that anymore? Is is lit popular? Let's go with fire again. Nope. Dark. Um, right, let's begin with Blizzard Town. Very cool, actually. Hey, why not? Nice. Uh, we've got... Oh, Titan Null again. Yeah, just... Man, that is like... I don't know why, but that card just really stands out. Uh, Tynamo. Is that the only normal card I've pulled, actually, from this set? It might be. Got a Cosmog, a Salandit, a Gibble, see Waddle on the Leaf, ooh, a Tag Switch, okay, that's that's pretty cool, that's like Electric and uh, Psychic tagging up together, and our rare is a Drapion, 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 I think, 
or would wrap you on? I don't know, depends. Um, also, all of the elements are different so far, which is pretty cool. Um, so, we haven't pulled a fire energy yet. Maybe that is what we're after. Um, although the energy cards don't actually count towards the set, do they? Which is, um, I mean, which is good, to be honest, because through the older sets, you couldn't have a full set unless you had all of the um, element cards, so the, the energy cards. Here we've got a grass, which we haven't pulled yet. Ah, Cherish Ball again. Um, we've got a tag switch. Oh, we got an LGM followed by an execute. Ah, execute's very... Wait, is that... Are there six executes? I swear there's only five. Right? Wait, is that like... I... I'm starting to question everything I know now. Uh, we got a Lowland Grimer, who is very cool. Uh, again, the first common appearance of that in all these packs. Hoot Hoot, uh, non-reverse. Uh, hey, Carablast, and it's kind of generic background-y kind of thing. Hey, Dooblade. No, Honed. Wait, what? Oh, so there's two Honedge cards, but one is just rarer than the other, I guess. Um, a reverse is Lipard. You can't re... Okay, yeah, you can kind of see it. There's like swirls of the dark uh, symbol there. Ah, ooh. Yo, hello. Hang on. This is a Mega Seably and Tyranitar G. Yeah. Wow, what a... What an interesting combo. Mega Seably and Tyranitar. Interesting. And it's a dark... Oh, because they are dark types, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's... Yo, that artwork's pretty darn cool, man. Like, the... The, um... The shine on Mega Seably's, like, crystal is... Yo, that's really cool. And what is the number? Okay, this is just a regular GX team-up card thing. But man, I've, I, I've I've been pretty darn lucky. Also, I like the tag team border thing with the little yellow things. Because they continued that with Sword and Shield, didn't they? Because the V cards have, like, black borders and stuff. Man, so that has been two GXs in one Elite Trainer box. I think... I, I don't know. I, I think that's pretty darn good rates there. Um, can we end on something super hype? Can we end on a secret rare... Um, new 2 and new GX tag team card? The answer is no, because uh, I, I I think the rates are something like 1 in 4 like booster boxes. For the... Wait, no, a secret rare, isn't it like 1 per booster box or something? I can't remember. Let's go with fire to end. Nope, okay then. Hey, we have pulled a double of the same energy, because we have water over there. We've got a Yan Mega. A Euringing Bell. A Blair's Quiz Show. Shroomish in his kind of standard background thing. Slack off without the berry. Um, Drifloon. We've got a Dupida. A Drudigan. Sorry, I kind of showed you there was a Poipole, uh Reverse Hollow. Yeah, ah, oh, okay, yeah, you can see the big um, Psychic Eye. Look into the Psychic Eye. And our rare to end this elite trainer box is going to be a Lolan Marowak, which isn't bad, but it's it, it's not quite as hype as the other thing. Still, though, that is... It, it's kind of like a cartoony, if that makes sense. It's sort of... He, he looks a bit... He looks a bit chibi, in a sense, but I, 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 I kind of like it. I like a Lolan Marowak, and I don't have the card, so it's another card down on my complete set thing. Not that I really complete many of these sets, especially now, because there's, like... 20 secret rares or ever every set and I, I ain't paying for that um right cool well that wraps up the unified minds portion of the video um next up is another elite trainer box which one is it i i don't i don't i don't know yet possibly celestial storm um yeah we'll do that and then the other one and then we'll end on hidden fates